Today's is the final chapter in a horrific case and a trying time for everyone involved. It would be Cody Cousins' last court appearance. He arrived at the Tippecanoe County Courthouse Friday to be sentenced in the murder of fellow Purdue student Andrew Bolt. Just last month, Cousins pleaded guilty but mentally ill. He said he intended to kill Bolt when he entered the Electrical Engineering Building on January 21st. Testimony today revealed that Cousins shot Bolt five times and stabbed him 19 times in front of a classroom of students. Bolt's parents were among those addressing the court, with James Bolt saying he and his wife cry almost every day due to their loss. Two psychiatrists testifying on behalf of the court both said Cousins was mentally ill, bipolar, or possibly schizophrenic. They said Cousins abused drugs, had gone through treatment, and sought counseling 17 times at Purdue. They disagreed on whether mental illness was a factor in Bolt's murder. At Purdue Friday, the students we talked to were unaware that Cousins was being sentenced, but they were glad to hear he had pleaded guilty and that there would be no trial. I'm glad that he pleaded guilty and uh, not draw it out, make it end quickly because it's pretty clear with the way that it happened. I wasn't personally affected, so I can't really say. I imagine for the victim's family, it would probably be easier for it to be quicker, but I'm sure they'd want him to be punished to the fullest extent. I think it'd be nice to know why. I think it'd help a lot of students understand and sort of come to terms with it. And the judge ruled that Cody Cousins was not mentally ill at the time that he murdered Andrew Bolt. He also agreed with the prosecutor, saying that he was not remorseful. My colleague Rich Van Wyk has been in the courtroom tweeting the entire time and will join us at 6 with more details and reaction. We're live in Tippecanoe County. Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Yeah, we'll look forward to that. Thank you, Mary. And we have been following this case from the very beginning. You can find all of the stories and the court documents on our website. Just go to WTHR.com and click on Hot Topics.